Well, you've heard the saying, dogs are man's best friends. Well, our next guests are here to prove just that. That's right. Canine Companions for Independence has proved, have provided, I'm going to get it, provided assistance dogs to people living with disabilities, free of charge for more than 40 years. Here to tell us more about the organization <laughs> are volunteer puppy raisers, Bob and Patrice Capcio. And you got Nika. And we've got Nika. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk a little bit about Canine Companions for Independence. Uh, Canine Companions for Independence, as you said, is the oldest and the largest provider of service dogs in the United States. Uh, they've been around since 1975, and uh, they provide four types of service dogs to adults, children, and veterans with disabilities. And let's talk about those types of services that these dogs are providing. There are, um, they train hearing dogs. They will alert a uh, deaf or hard of hearing individual to important sounds, a uh, facility dog, um, facility dogs work in an education setting or healthcare setting um, mm -hmm. or even a courthouse setting. Yeah. Um, and a uh, skilled companion dog is a dog that serves um, to give more independence to a uh, child with cognitive or intellectual disabilities. And then also um, service dogs, which are the ones that everybody is more familiar with, and that's a dog that will help an adult with a, dis a physical disability. <laughs> Nika, Nika's enjoying <laughs> uh, her TV time. Yes. Let's, let's talk about Nika and the, the types of dogs that, that you guys do train. Yeah, Nika is, um, she's our first full lab. Usually the organization has crosses between golden retrievers and Labrador retrievers. Um, we've raised four of those types, but this one, um, Nika, she's a full lab and uh, she'll remain intact and possibly be a breeder in their specialized breeding program. How long does the training normally last? Uh, the training starts really early, really. As soon as they're born, we get them at eight weeks and we start right away. Um, and we have her until she's about 18 or 20 months. So. And we have some videos to show of some of the tasks and the things that these highly trained dogs can do to help make a difference. So tell us what we're doing. We're watching here. Turning on lights, right? right this right. is a huge thing for people who need the assistance. Exactly. Yes. Um, turning on lights, uh, retrieving a dropped object. Think about how many times you drop your cell phone or your keys. Um, so retrieving an object. Um, pulling a manual wheelchair. Some of the dogs you're seeing that there, they can pull a wheelchair. Which is just, I mean, it just watching this will just melt your heart. And little things like opening refrigerators. Now, yeah. who doesn't want that? They can tug open a door. You know, amazing things that they can do. That's awesome. Now, Bob, you have a personal story about how you, you, you all got involved? Oh, well, it was several years ago. Our daughter, uh, um, our son was an Eagle Scout. Our, our daughter was working on her Gold Award project, and she kept wanting an award, uh, come up with a project. And we kept hounding her about what are you gonna do for your project and uh, she had always wanted a dog and we had i spent 30 years in the navy and we had kept saying no 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 too hard um and so uh so then she really came up with the idea uh that uh, she wanted to raise a service dog so uh that's how we started and uh she raised that first dog his name was normandy and he is uh, with his lifelong forever partner down in orlando emma and uh, they're doing great. She has spina bifida, and it's, it's, it was a wonderful match. Um, and, uh, and now, so now you're we're still doing it. Now we're, she's long gone, living in Virginia, and uh, we're still doing it on our fifth dog. Wow. Fifth dog, that's wow, great. Wow, that's a great story. Uh, so let's talk. We have an event coming up that we want to make sure that we talk about. But uh, let's talk about how you guys are funded, because it takes a lot, I'm sure, to train these dogs and need help. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, d we are. We do exist solely because of corporate donations, private donations, um, community organizations, and individual donors. Absolutely. But, so what's what's amazing about that is everything's based on donations, and these dogs are free of charge. They don't cost anybody anything that ever gets a dog. So when you think about uh, from the life of the from the breeding program they have to the life of the dog. They've calculated it's about a fifty thousand dollar dog, so when you start adding that up of how many dogs they uh, they provide. provide to people, um, it's an incredible and system to be able to get those type of donations. And it's not just the tasks, right, that these dogs are doing. That's one huge key component, but it's also the friendship, right, the bond, the right. and, the, and the companionship, mm -hmm. and Absolutely. you know, and what. It does, and there have been studies that have shown what dogs do when you walk in the door and you see a dog and somebody's happy to see you. You know, they, dogs just uplift your spirits, yeah. right? And I'm sure they do for people who, you know, are, are exactly. going through some tough times. I yeah. definitely think you were right when you said dogs, man's best friend, That's woman's right. best friend, whoever. That's great. All right, let's talk about Dog Fest. I'm super excited. We've been talking about this for a while online, and it's coming up in about almost two weeks, correct? Two weeks. <laughs> 
Okay. Yep, it's uh, downtown Jacksonville, October 22nd. Uh, the South Bank Riverwalk. That's right, that over new, by Friendship Fountain. Yeah, Friendship that new Fountain. area. Um, and uh, from noon until four, this will be a day to bring your dog. Bring your dog, it's fun for adults, children, um, families, dogs. Um, you can meet people who have a working dog, recipients of Canine Companions dogs. You can uh, donate, you can learn more about our mission, uh, and just have fun. Lots of games, lots of fun. She is so sweet. I mean, oh. she just you, she was shutting her eyes a little bit. I'm not going to take that person. She was falling asleep. <laughs> but that's okay. Morning, that's morning okay. nap time. It is. It's been a she's long tired. day. I know. Good she's so smart you, too. Like earlier, she's just going to be a going to be a great dog. She's a smart one. Thanks yeah. guys great. for being here, and thanks for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Make a thanks. difference. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Remember, Dog Fest Walk and Roll is on Sunday, October 2nd, 22nd at Friendship Fountain. You can register now by visiting cci.org/dogfestjacksonville.